Hey guys, so, well here is my grandfather's McCulloch Eager Beaver model 2014 chainsaw. So as you see it's all put back together. So uh, today I'm going to take the carburetor off, clean it, and rebuild it, and hopefully this thing will run. Alright, so just to get access to the carburetor, you got to take the air cleaner cover off. And it's held on by two uh, screws, and use either a torque screwdriver, a T25, or a flathead screwdriver, just to take them off. All right, so that's off. Now we'll take this, this one screw off. I'll just take this little cover off. And now all these these other two screws to uh, get the carburetor off. Right now that just comes off. I already got the fuel lines disconnected though. So now all we gotta do is disconnect our our throttle. Disconnect the throttle to the carb. And then there's our carburetor. Okay. So here we have another Zama carburetor. It's a, a C1Q series. Model number on this carburetor. I know y'all can't see that very well. It's M27A. Alright, so uh, let's uh, start getting this carburetor off. So let's start this side here and loosen up these, these uh, Phillips screws. diaphragm however it's not not too bad actually it's still very flexible but I'm gonna replace it anyways gasket actually looks still looks good so let me just uh, get that off actually quite frankly this carburetor doesn't look too bad it looks fairly clean Okay, so now for the other side, it's just one screw, just to take the, the pump side off. diaphragm apparently it feels very stiff hmm. so that yeah this diaphragm here is obviously it's very stiff so let me just up. I can just try to get the diaphragm off of the gasket try to separate them. Set those 
side. Okay, so now we need to loosen up this screw to get the metering lever off, and it's also a Phillips screwdriver, Phillips screw. Well, if it will come off, so hang on a second. Okay, got that screw broken loose. For some reason, she's a little stiff. Which, I'm assuming the carburetor might just be a little bit dirty, but just by looking at it, it does look clean. Let me just, just remove it completely. Okay. There's a little lever and a little rod. And there's the spring. If I can get the needle out. There we go. Yep, there's the needle. It's actually a fairly tiny needle. And so, yeah. So uh, now let me uh, get a safety pin and I'll take this uh, screen off. Okay, so I finally got that screen off. And so again, just by looking at this, looking at it, this whole carburetor actually looks fairly clean. But I'm gonna just thoroughly saturate it with some carb cleaner, you know, just to make sure and make sure that none of the little holes inside are not plugged up and so yeah so I'll take this outside and I'll spray it with some carb cleaner alright so I got the carburetor outside and like I have always said which I cannot stress enough always always wear safety glasses whenever you're doing all of this because you don't want the carb cleaner to go spray back and go into your eyes because they will burn okay so I got my safety glasses on so I'm just gonna just spray all this up with carb cleaner I'm pretty much almost out of carb cleaner though so I may end up just do the rest of it with some deep creep you can also use deep creep as well it'll also clean the carburetor really good too And actually, that just got me in the face, and it's a good thing that I'm have that I got safety glasses on. Saturate all that real good. It's also a good idea to spray from right here. Usually, when you like spray the nipple here, it should come out through one of the holes. I don't know if it will. And it actually did. It actually came out through this hole, which that means that this carburetor is actually clean. And as you see there. And also what you can do is also you can remove the adjustment screws. I usually like to do one of them at a time because some of the screws will look uh, different than the other. So yeah, so I'll just keep on doing all this, and then uh, we'll uh, reassemble the carburetor, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, get the chainsaw running. So uh, I'll be back with y'all for uh, part two.